why you but I love you cause you're cute but you gotta go now you gotta go now cause you need to go right now bye bye hi I'm Terry welcome or welcome back to my channel today I have a Shein haul this is a plus size haul and it's back to work shirts now the reason why it's shirts is because I didn't need any pants and pants are really difficult for me anyway um, so maybe as we go maybe I can do that a little more but my office is a little more casual than um, maybe a lot of them are I can wear darker jeans black jeans um, on Fridays I can wear just regular jeans so it's not really dressy so I didn't really want to buy a lot of like dress pants that I wasn't going to wear so I'm just gonna have like my black jeans on during this you might not even see them but um, I did the Chloe Ting challenge. I have a video if you want to go watch that. Um, and so I lost uh, some inches and part of that reward was getting a few new clothes and um, I needed to, you know, show off my few <laughs> inches. So I also have my um, blazer with me too so I can throw that over so that you can see like what a work blazer will look like. I have about six shirts, so um, it's not too big, um, but I do have a torrid one coming that's definitely got more. And let's get into it. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more things like this. Like I said, I've got more hauls coming. I've got a renovation coming. I just have some fun things coming. And make sure to like it as well to let me know that you want to see more of these. <laughs> Now we get started. You might be able to hear the rustling of the bags. This is my first time shopping at Shein. Um, I don't know why I never have. I think as I scrolled through I realized that it might not exactly be like my tea, but um, I did find a few things and the cat is on the bags. And you might know this. I didn't know this. Everything comes individually wrapped and it actually is like really nice packaging. So it was actually kind of fun to open. One came separately in like a, a plastic mailer, but that's fine. Um, so we start off with, this is the Dusty Pink Ruffle Cami. It is a cami, but it's got little ruffles on it. I will try everything on and I typically well, I was in a size 20, but because of my efforts, I am now an 18, but um, Shein's 18 is a 3XL, so that doesn't feel too good <laughs> after you've been working hard, but it's cute. I like the color. Um, a lot of people in the office say that they like the dusty pink rose on me. Yo, trying to get this tripod situation under control was not the journey I wanted to go on today. <laughs> So first off, sorry about the black bra. It's just what I had on and you can deal. Um, this is cute. I like the little ruffles. Of course, I'd never wear it like this out to work. Um, so I have my trusty black blazer, which I never, I wouldn't really wear typically for most times, but you know, like a little cardigan or something would be cute. But this is what it looks like with a little blazer on and I think it's cute with your little ruffle like sticking out. I mean, I'm a bigger girl, so a little ruffle is gonna like accentuate things a little bit, but you know, you cinch it in with some, some black and I like it, I think it's cute. I like the color. It's reading a little, I don't know, more skin tone on the on the camera there, but it's, a, it's, a, it's more pinky peachy than my skin tone, like dusty, Dusty Rose. So, I like it. The next thing, if the cat will let me have it, <laughs> is the short sleeve floral. Is that what it is? Yes, short sleeve floral. Now, I don't know what I expected as far as fabric for this, but it is, it's, it's a really cute print. I'll start off with that. It's a really cute print. It's just a short sleeve moment here with just you know regular crew neck top um, I love the floral I have I'm having floral moments lately 
um, but it's very cheap feeling and it's going to make a lot of noise, especially because, you know, I'm a bigger girl. So as I move, it's going to make a lot of noise and I'm not a big fan of that, but we're going to try it on and we're going to see the noise down, but I love the print. The print is absolutely beautiful and the blazer test. Got my black blazer that I found at Ross one day and it's super stretchy and I love it. And it's the only black one I have. All right. Okay, yeah, that's cute. And it definitely like helps the noise because my arms aren't like brushing it. Um, yeah, I actually think I prefer this with the blazer more than by itself. You just get a hint of the pattern yeah, it's cute. The next one is the um, shirt that I guess started it all. I saw this on an ad and um, I thought it was cute. And I'm for some reason I'm also liking Olive now. Um, again, it's that same weird loud fabric. And it's it just looks like a button down now that it's here. But for some reason in my brain, it was like super cute. I'm gonna have to go like try to find the picture of it so that I can mimic whatever they did that I thought was like so dang cute. Uh, again, this is in a 3X and it is, it does have long sleeve, but it looks like it has the where you can roll it up there and there's like the part inside that rolls it up has two little pockets on the front. Um, you know, you can also wear it open. You don't have to button it. And there's, I'm guessing that's from like some interfacing there. Um, but that's no big deal. Interfacing just comes off. It's just something that helps them iron it. So here is this thing. This does not look like it did in the picture. Um, so I might have to fix it again it's that really loud fabric um I really wish I liked it more because <laughs> it was really cute I think in the picture they had it tied which there isn't a lot of extra stuff to tie here and then they had the sleeves rolled up I mean I love the color and it looks like it would be a really cute color to wear with um, that first peachy pinky dusty pink rose ruffle thing like that would be a cute moment to have the dusty rose and the olive I mean that's better but like maybe if I hide the little end so you don't know that I didn't have a lot of fabric like that's better I guess the fabric still sucks so, you know, what do you do about that? Can't really change the fabric. If I button it up maybe a little bit, I don't know. Tell me, tell me, be my friend, but be my best friend and like, don't lie to me. Does it suck or is it okay? The next one, I don't know what it is <laughs> because it didn't come with the little thing. So again, I'll link everything down cause I'm sure I can find it again. But this one didn't wasn't on the uh, manifest or anything, so I don't know what exactly this one is. But navy blue, and it's flowers. Again, I like flowers, and it has ties on the sleeves, and it has a little peplum, which I'm worried about the peplum because when you're heavier on the bottom, do I really want to accentuate that? So we'll see. All right, so, um, I think this one's probably too big. I know it's probably supposed to be a little loosey-goosey, but I just don't, I don't like it when there's a ton of, like, extra fabric, because I feel like it's not flattering, because I feel like I'm already bigger, and I just don't, yeah, that is not cute. That's just not, that's not cute. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Maybe I won't even show that. Um, 
I like the sleeve situation. It covers my my arms and it has this cute little moment which I couldn't put in a bow yet, but I actually kind of like the, the wings. <laughs> anyway, so I think this is going to have to be a no. This one I was actually really excited about and the cat isn't going to, okay. I was actually really excited about because it's, it is very much like my style. I kind of like the, the seventies boho y kind of vibe. Um, this has some like flower embroidery on it. This is soft. It's not like that scratchy fabric, but it's kind of, I guess, linen-y, I would say. And it has these really pretty embroidered flowers on it. It's so pretty. But it is, it's kind of boxy and big. It has these big flutter sleeves. You're not going to be able to tell very well until I try it on. And the cat really likes the shirt. Um, so we'll see. I feel like it might be too much fabric for me, but we'll see. This is not it. This is, this is just not it. <laughs> I feel like a frumpy dumpy in it, and I wish that I didn't because this is really pretty. But it has this elastic thing that's hitting me in a really weird place, and I just... Uh, I don't know. I just, I feel frumpy dumpy in it. Do I look frumpy dumpy in it? Again, be my friend and tell me if I look frumpy dumpy in it. I just, I feel like there's a lot of fabric. And the last one, I can wear it to work, especially if I like put my blazer over it, but it's a little more casual and I'll definitely be able to wear it in um, the outside world. And I'm really into this like kind of one color tie dye situation lately. I think I'm going to have to do some ice dyeing. Like I've been watching ice dyeing videos. That sounds like Einstein, but ice dyeing <laughs> and I'm obsessed. So I had to have this cause it's just, I love just the coloration on it and it has the little knotty thing at the bottom. And for some reason, my boyfriend loves these things. Anytime I have a shirt on with this little knot tie thing at the bottom of it, he, he loves it. So maybe he'll like this one too. This is the journey I wanted to go on. I like this so much. I love this. I love the color. It does have that seam in the middle, but that helps create this um, little moment in the front there. Um, I. I like it. Um, I could wear it on its own at work for my place of work, um, but if you wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit, don't put your coat on wrong side out. Put it on the right way. And look, look how cute it is now, huh? You dress it up a little bit and then you're like the coolest person sitting at the conference table. Yeah. I'm glad we're ending on a good note because, yeah. So, what did you think? Which one was your favorite? Which one should I return and never speak of again? I think I know which one. And uh, please subscribe and like and stay tuned for more fun things coming up. I hope you have a great day. Wash your hands.